It's a meeting of leaders who, between them, represent nearly a third of the world's population. And for the past 40 years, every one of the Commonwealth summits has been opened by the Queen. She is head of the Commonwealth and is sensitive to the Commonwealth's political currents. And so, when it was announced two years ago at the meeting in Perth, Australia, that the next summit would be in Sri Lanka, the Queen will have known that it was a controversial choice. The Sri Lankan authorities have been accused of serious violations of human rights, particularly during the country's long civil war. Human rights campaigners have condemned the government of Sri Lanka's President Raja Pasca. It was a wrong decision made to go to Sri Lanka because sending the Queen, who was scheduled to go, gives a royal seal of approval to the host country. You can imagine Mr. Raja Pakska. A number of prime ministers have told me how at the last conference he elbowed them out of the way so that he could be pictured with the Queen. Buckingham Palace insists the Queen's non-attendance at the summit is because they're reviewing the long-haul travel of the now 87-year-old monarch. Others who follow Commonwealth politics closely believe the Queen is sending a subtle but deliberate message. I think the Queen is a very canny operator in Commonwealth politics. She's been around so long. She knows the leaders. She often knew their fathers and grandfathers. She knows how to send a subtle message to the Commonwealth, and not going in person, I think, will send that message. For their part, the Sri Lankans accept that the Queen's absence is due to age rather than politics. From our perspective, we would have loved uh, to have had Her Majesty there. However, we fully respect and fully understand and we're enormously sensitive to the fact that Her Majesty is 87 years old. The Prince of Wales will attend the summit in place of the Queen. It's an important step for him, deputising for his mother, a portent of the future. And proof, officials say, that no... It remains, though, that, most unusually, this is one Commonwealth meeting which will take place without the Queen. And in confirming that, the palace has, for the first time, acknowledged that her age is having an impact on her programme. Nicholas Witchell, BBC News, at Buckingham Palace.